Now, the parliament here in Germany has backed a new law making it easier for trans transgender, intersex and non-binary people to use their preferred gender identity in legal documents. The Self-Determination Act drops obligatory psychological and legal assessments. Supporters say the current law violates the dignity of trans people, but the new bill has run into opposition from conservatives and far-right lawmakers. One transgender man has been telling DW what the revised law means for him. Oh, this was, this was a cool. 21 year old Jamie Williams, seen here on the left, is sharing pictures of his childhood with a friend. Back then, he was a young girl with long hair. I always did everything with my brothers when I was a child. We grew up together and there was never any difference. We wore the same clothes, we had the same hobbies, and there was no role model for me that I had to fit in somehow. And then at some point, the moment came when society made a distinction between us. For some years, Jamie dressed like a girl and went along with society's expectations. And then came the moment when I realised that I didn't feel comfortable in this role at all, that I was being pushed into it. And then I tried hard to push myself into it and somehow fulfil this role. But at some point I really realised that this wasn't possible. It wasn't me. Aged 15, he confided in his mother and told her that he wanted to identify as a male. Under the existing law, which was passed in 1980, the procedure for changing a person's legal gender was lengthy, expensive and at times invasive. Until 2011, trans people had to be sterilised to officially change their gender. At the moment you need two independent medical experts and a court order. You have to pay money for this if you don't get legal aid. It's simply a very, very long process. <laughs> Jamie says the new law makes the process for trans people much easier. For me, self-determination means that I know best who I am and can determine that myself. While the passing of the law remains controversial, especially among German conservatives, it's a landmark moment for Germany's trans, intersex and non-binary community. Well, there was heated debate before the vote on this new law. and One a member of parliament from the opposition, Christian Democrats, laid out her reasons for voting against. This law enables every citizen to change their gender without having to set out their motivation. And it causes problems for which no solutions were found in legislative consultations. There is no protection against possible abuse when first names and gender identity can be changed without condition. The state does not even ensure that people who change their gender are really informed about what they are deciding. And most importantly, it disregards the state's duty to protect children and minors. Let's pick this up with uh, Julia Munro. She's a trans activist uh, here in Berlin. Welcome to DW. Um, respond, if you would, to a, a couple of those points. Um, we know that lots of these talking points are from far right wings or, or conservative parties because uh, there's a big movement called uh, uh, gender critical movement. They, they say, uh, they call themselves... Um, uh, as feminists, but they don't include trans rights in their feminist fights, and so we call them trans exclusive radical feminists. And they okay, have but a lot regardless of, of points, regardless uh, of where the talking points have come from, perhaps you could just uh, address the, the the actual points that that were raised. Uh, we know from, uh, for example, there was a survey from Transgender Europe. They uh, examined all the. Uh, countries in Europe who um, have, have a uh, self-determination law, actually, and these concerns that there's uh, abuse or something like this, uh, it's, it's not reality because there's uh, not known any case. Right. OK. Uh, and it, she also made the point that the state does, doesn't even ensure that people who change their gender are really informed about uh, what they're deciding, which sounds like... Uh, an omission when you're considering something uh, so uh, such a radical change to uh, to your being. Uh, 
if you're transgender, you know who you are. We have uh, uh, we have studies that, for example, trans youth people they uh, they have about uh, a years from four to seven years uh, when they uh, when they are looking for themselves when they're searching for themselves. They uh, they know who they are, and it's this um, they need this area, um, th this space where, where they find themselves. Because um, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, they, they want to. They know who they are because there's uh, they are the, the first coming out, the inner coming out to the outer coming out. This is the time they need to to know who they, who they are, and then they are safe. Uh, they know uh, what they want and uh, they don't need any uh, any more advice. Right, so people don't come to this decision lightly. Yet less than half of Germans support this uh, this law change. Why do you think that is? I think it's because uh, there's uh, the, these talking points from from far right wings. They 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 are in, taking influencing uh, on on the media and uh, they're spreading that disinformation. Um, this is, but it's not reality. Uh, we have lots of organizations from civil rights organizations, for example, from church organizations, women's rights organizations, youth organizations, or psychological organizations. They all support this law, and uh, it's just a small number of of people and organizations who who uh, criticize this uh, law, and um, yeah. Some some parties they take these talking points to make um, uh, to raise their voice against this law, but it's not reality. Good talking to you. Thanks for joining us, trans activist uh, Julia Munro. Thank you. Let's bring in Gabriel Knox König from German Trans Association here in Berlin. Now. What will change in uh, the daily life for people who can now change their first name uh, and gender more easily? You have to imagine being not not to be able to pay with your EC card in a store, not be able to go to the doctor and show your insurance without being accused of fraud or, depending on the situation, having the police called on you. This is something that happens to trans people very regularly in Germany now. With the new law, people can change their name and gender marker much more easily, and mm. these day-to-day -day discrimination situations will fade. Now, that law has uh, been criticized, for example, uh, for allowing people to change their name and sexual identity every year. Why is that necessary? In Germany, um, two years ago, the government started to talk about key points the law will have. And then conservatives and right-wing parties were afraid that people would change their name every second day. So they wanted to have a time frame in the law that says you can only change your name once a year because they think we change our names every two days if this, if this year is not written in the law. Uh, why but we don't expect people to change their name more than once. Mm. Now, why do you think this now, new law has been criticized not only by the far right, but also by conservative Democrats? In the end, with publishing the key points two years ago, a big disinformation campaign has been started around trans people and around the effects the law will have. Much of the public opinion believed in this disinformation. So now we have a rise in prejudices against trans people and also a rise in anti-trans violence because of the disinformation. And many of the anxieties of the conservatives are also based on this disinformation. For example, major feminist women organizations support the law and also fought along, along us to do something against the disinformation. Now, uh, one of the concerns were the security concerns. Some argued that uh, criminals could get their names easily changed, uh, get a new passport and therefore escape law enforcement. 
When a person changes their name and gender marker in Germany, the birth certificate and all other documents will be changed. But in the birth registry, the old name and the old gender marker will stay the same. So there will be noted which name a person had before and which name a person has now. And the law enforcement also has access to these birth registry. So there is no way to escape a criminal offense with a name or gender marker change. Now, uh, only 46% of Germans are in favor of this new law. Why do you think that is? I think it also has to do with the disinformation campaign that we faced the last two years. And also many people just can't imagine how it is to be transgender. Not many people are aware that we are as many people as we are. And many people, I think, just didn't have the information or close contact with the trans person and see that most of these things are prejudices. Thank you very much, Gabriel Knox-König of the German Trans Association.